اون تو Four. Give me four walls, a dark room. Give me that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Um. No, it it wasn't that easy. Um. Let me tell you the whole story. Have you ever felt alive? Now, no, think think about it. Have you ever felt alive? Now, I don't mean waking up, eating breakfast, going to work, coming home, sleep, and then repeat. I mean, wherever you are, whether you're in the car, whether you're on your way to work, whether you're walk walking in the park, all of a sudden, everything stops, and you're in your mind, and you feel so much. You might get chills in your body. You might shed tears of happiness or sadness. But you feel so much that you're actually expressing it so other people can see it. That alive. The day I felt that was the same day I was creating something very emotional. Imagine that you have a dark room and you can fill it. It's up to you. It's, it's like an empty canvas. So in my case, a table, a child, and me. All of a sudden, I'm telling a story. A story that can make people feel and relate. A story that I could only dream of telling and then... Click. There it is. My story. From my mind onto a photograph. Up for display. For you. For you to feel. That to me is powerful. It's beyond everything. It's. That's, that's what I love. I felt so alive after that shoot. After that shoot, 25th of March, 2015. So, have you ever felt alive? Think about it if you want. Why did I give that look? Was it because I was angry because there was people laughing in the background? Or it was loud music in the background? Was I angry? Was I sad? That look right there is me finding my purpose in life and doing whatever it takes to achieve that purpose. After realizing what I can do in the studio, I started to make stories based on my life. It didn't progress that fast, but 
at least I had a studio. I had somewhere to go when I wanted to feel alive. I could go there and create the ideas that I had in my mind and onto a photograph. My first photographic series, a stepping stone in my life, was a part of me. A project revolved around your most painful experience in life and how that shapes you to who you are today. And ever since that, I have wanted to create and to create more and more and never stop. Now, this was all when I was in Australia. But who was I before that? I was Dennis Forsberg, 18 years old, checking in. Next stop, Australia. Wait, 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 what? Australia? What the hell was I thinking? Honestly, I, I didn't think. The only thing I could think about was... Oh, cool, up in the air and flying to the place where there are palm trees, just like in the movies. 16th of July, 2013. My feet touched the ground on the other side of the world, and BAM! The hell have I done? My first feeling was, why do I have to leave and hurt everyone I love to do something good for myself? Let's just say that I had no idea what I was doing. The only thing I was sure of was... to chase my dream. Two and a half years goes by. 19th of November, 2015. A lot changed. Not just physically. I was different. All of a sudden, I was a grown man. But one thing stayed the same. To chase my dream. A month later, I decided to move back to Sweden and start off fresh. I thought I knew how difficult it would be. But if you would have said that I will be working three jobs, none of them as a photographer, to make money struggling financially, then I would laugh to myself and go, <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna be a photographer, I'm gonna work as a photographer, I'm gonna be the world's best photographer. But, reality sets in. And welcome back to Sweden, Dennis. You see, I didn't realize how brutal it would be. It felt like I was being lied to, punched in the face and buried. But giving up? That's never an option. I owe myself way too much for me to give up. The amount I sacrificed, the pain I went through, and for what? To give up? Hell no! You see, I've had my ups. So I'd like to present uh, the great process of the world for creative development to Dennis Forsberg. And I sure as hell have had my downs. I'm looking through my books right now. I want to start a new project because right now I can't do that part of me because I need a studio, I need things that I don't have used yet. But I'm building myself up again. I can damn promise you that, Dennis. Well. I did not know it would be this hard. 
But as a child, you can dream of the most impossible dreams there is. And that's okay. I just didn't realize how hard it would be to achieve those dreams. But I will give you that. Those dreams that you dreamt of. I will give them to you. I will fight. I will sacrifice. I've been introduced to reality. And I'm saying no, I'm saying I'm going my own way, I'm saying you're not making any decisions for me, I'm making them for myself. I did not realize how many obstacles and how much everyday life affects you mentally. Being forced to work jobs you don't want to work, being forced to spend so much of your time doing things you don't want to do to keep your head above water so you can survive? I made a promise to myself to create art that makes people feel. I want to make you feel alive. That's what my life is worth to me making everyone feel through my art I promise myself that and when I promise myself something I tend to keep this one I will keep this one especially when it's the thing I love the most it doesn't matter how hard I fall it doesn't matter what achievements I accomplish. I'm gonna keep moving and never stopping. You make your own luck and you don't give up. One. Two. Three. Four. Give me four walls. A dark room. Give me that. 